In this video, I'm going to discuss the basic formula for MCTC. That is movement to change the trim by one centimeter. So this is a vessel and this one is the center of gravity of the ship. Well, center of gravity is the point where total weight of the ship can be assumed to be acting vertically downward. Let's say the weight of the ship is capital W and that will be equal to m into g where m is the mass of the ship and g is the acceleration due to gravity while the average value of g is 9.8 meter per second square. Now let us assume that this is the water line. So this means that this is my underwater area or underwater volume. This is my underwater portion. The center of buoyancy is the geometrical center of this underwater portion. The force of buoyancy acts vertically upward from a center of buoyancy. Well, it is acting like this. Now assume that we have this W turn weight here and we shift this, tin, uh, this weight from forward to aft like this. Now this is small w, this weight is shifted from forward to aft like this. So if this weight is shifted from forward to aft, it will also shift or change the position of center of gravity and center of gravity will shift from G to G1 in this direction. Now this force, the weight force will act from G1 instead of acting from G and this will trim the ship like this. Well, since G is shifted from G to G1. The center of buoyancy will also shift from B to B1. It makes sense also because the underwater volume is increased on this side. Now this is the underwater volume. Earlier the underwater volume was only this one. Now it is increased. So that means B will also shift from B to B1. And this way the force of buoyancy instead of from B it will also move and it will act vertically upward from B. Well this weight is shifted from forward to aft with the distance D. So we can say the shift in the center of gravity of the ship is a GG1 and that is in this direction g2 g1 in this direction and it is going to be a small w into d divided by capital w where a small w is this weight and d is the distance shifted well from this place to this place the distance shifted and capital w is the displacement of the ship well we also note something very interesting here that 10 theta is equal to gg1 by gml and this is if we consider this triangle. So let me mark this triangle g to g1 is going to be like this and this is angle 90 degree and this triangle is let me just mark here g to g1 like this uh, and this one. So this is the triangle and in this triangle we have the relationship GG1 GG1 divided by GML and this is ML is nothing but longitudinal matter center well this ML is nothing but the intersection of initial line of, of buoyancy this is initial initial force of buoyancy and this is after shifting B to B1 this is the next or successive force of buoyancy this is 
successive force of buoyancy. So the intersection of these in a longitudinal direction is longitudinal matter center. So we have this relationship tan theta is equal to gg1 by gml. Now we have one more interesting thing and if we consider this triangle let me just a little let me highlight this this will be much better I'll use this green color if we have this triangle here this one this triangle so in this triangle we have this relationship that 10 theta is equal to trim by LBP well this length is LBP LBP length between perpendicular so we have one reference line here which is forward perpendicular we have another reference line here which is aft perpendicular so the distance between forward perpendicular and aft perpendicular is length between perpendicular and this is a trim let me again define the trim trim is the difference between forward draft and aft draft so this is the forward draft forward draft is a vertical distance from water line to the keel or vice versa and aft draft is this one this one is my aft draft so the difference between forward draft and this is also forward draft this distance so the difference between forward and aft draft is going to be this one this is trim now let's work on this that gg1 is w into d by capital w and w into d is trimming moment well the trimming moment is defined as the weight w and the distance shifted so this w was shifted from forward to half like this with the distance d so we have this trimming moment trimming moment w into d divided by capital w also we have very interesting relationship between tm and mctc while the trim cause is the trimming moment divided by moment to change the trim by one centimeter say for example if mctc mctc is 200 ton meter that means this is the moment required to change the trim by one centimeter so if i have a 2000 ton meter trimming moment how much trim change will i have well obviously it is going to be 10 centimeter which simply mean that this 10 centimeter i will get by tm dividing this is tm 2000 dividing by mctc so we have this relationship where tc trim cost is nothing but trimming moment divided by mctc so if tc is one centimeter that means this tc is one centimeter we have trimming moment is equal to mctc well we just assume that tc is one centimeter now suppose the initial initially the initial trim was initial trim was zero the ship was at even keel and the final trim is a say t so the trim cost will be equal to trim let's go back here so initial trim was zero well the ship was at even keel the ship at the line this was the water line initially the water line was like this so the forward draft and aft draft was zero however when the ship has trimmed the forward draft is only this one and aft draft is this one the difference is the t so trim cost is equal to trim well so trim cost is equal to trim well we have one more interesting relationship that 10 theta is equal to trim by lbp and the trim is one centimeter and we use 
the unit in meter so the 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meter I can write like this also 10 theta is equal to 1 by 100 into LBP that is length between perpendicular so 1 centimeter I have written as 1 by 100 this quantity I have just is 1 centimeter let me again mark just to emphasize this now if we come back to this formula that 10 theta is equal to gg1 by gml so the gg1 we can write this information that gg1 is w into d by capital w or trimming moment divided by w so i write gg1 as trimming moment divided by capital w into gml and just now we have worked out that if the trim is 1 centimeter trimming moment is equal to mctc so instead of trimming moment I write mctc divided by w into gml so we have a two relationship here by the way this angle is theta and this angle is also theta so we have two triangle here say x y Z and there is another triangle is also there which is G G1 and GML this triangle and both these triangles are similar triangle and their properties can be verified by simple geometry so here the 10 theta is equal to trim by LBP where I'm using this triangle XYZ and 10 theta is equal to GG1 by GML where I am using this triangle now this 1 by 100 LBP that is 10 theta trim by LBP which is 1 by 100 LBP is equal to gg1 by gml which is mctc by w into gml well this has come from this formula that 10 theta is equal to trimming moment divided by w into gml or tm trimming moment is equal to mctc so this has come from this formula here so this 10 theta is equal to this 10 theta this 10 theta is equal to this 10 theta all I need to do is now just equate and I get this relationship where MCTC is W into GML divided by 100 into LBP and that's a very useful formula